Hey Jason, my name is Aaron Gopp and I'm with Tripmates. I love the Ask Jason segment, so I thought that this would be a great opportunity to get your thoughts on web versus mobile strategy. Tripmates is a social travel app and we made the decision early on to be mobile first and possibly mobile only. We thought that it gave us the best opportunity to iterate, to deliver value to our customers, to find that pixel perfect design, to make sure that we're delivering concise value, not trying to be too much to too many people. And we really think that the future of travel booking is going to be in mobile. Now, again, we thought this to be a great strategy, but as we socialize this with our peers and our mentors, we got a lot of pushback. The argument is by eliminating web, we eliminate a really big part of our market. Now you've had the chance to see a lot of great companies come up. So I'm curious what your thoughts are on a mobile first strategy, especially for an early stage company that's looking for product market fit. Thank you again for all that you and the launch team are doing. Keep up the great work, and I can't wait for launch scale. Okay, this person has discerning taste. He's a super fan of This Week in Startups. He's coming to the Scale Conference and hopefully to the Launch Mobile Wearables and IoT Conference that we're doing with our friends at Pivotal Labs. And he makes uh, some great points here. When you're building a startup, should it be mobile first? Should it be web first? Desktop web is what he's referring to. Or should it be mobile web first, using your Safari or Chrome browser? Gosh, it is mind-numbing, and everybody's got an opinion on this. Here is what you're dealing with. People love apps. Apps don't make any sense in a way. We have the mobile web. It's open. It works. Why wouldn't we just do everything in a browser? Well, the web can do, the apps can do animations, and there's some sophisticated things you can do there, but the web keeps catching up, right? So it's just mind-boggling and confusing that in 2015, after we did all this stuff to have an open standard with the web for 25 years, that now we're reverting back? We're reverting back and saying, let's have multiple platforms? It is difficult. And you know what? Here's what you're going to hear from venture capitalists, because they have signaling. They want to build a billion-dollar company. They look and they see other billion-dollar companies and they say, Instagram is an app. Airbnb has an app. Airbnb has a website too, but it's got an app. Pinterest is crushing it with their app. They crushed it on the desktop, but now they're crushing it with their app. Uber is an app and an app only. You're not ordering Uber from a desktop computer or from the, I think you actually can use the, the I think you can use the mobile web too. You got to pick one thing and do it world class. Now, there is still a lot of desktop users when they're doing research, et cetera. But if you just look at your own behavior, you're really using your phone. You have it with you all the time. And if you leave it behind, you go home and get it. Literally, people will go home 10 minutes in their Uber on the way to the office. They'll turn the car around to get that damn phone. That is all you need to know. The smartphone has won. Desktop, yeah, you'll get to it. But get the phone right first because the majority of the world is going to experience the internet through a mobile phone, not a desktop computer. And Investors like to skate to where the puck is going, as the Wayne Gretzky quote from Steve Jobs, uh, who quoted Wayne Gretzky, always said, I'm skating to where the puck is going. That's why I'm such a good player. I don't care where the puck's been. As an entrepreneur and as a venture capitalist, you know, the venture capitalists are looking and saying, I, I did desktop stuff. I did kayak on the desktop. Now I want to do mobile. I want to take that opportunity where there's going to be billions of users compared to the hundreds of millions of people on the desktop. So it's just a numbers game, and it's where people are spending their time. That's the name of the game. You're going to have to do an app at some point, and Virgin America is making me crazy. They won't release an app. Southwest has an app. Virgin America keeps insisting we go to a website. I hate it. I want an app from Virgin America. I think less of Virgin America for not having an app. If a company doesn't have an app, you just think less of them. You just think they're not with it. So consumers have won. Apps have won. Steve Jobs won with the App Store. And as much as we all love open standards, there's no way to roll back the clock. So sometimes you have to know when the market has decided and the market has decided for better or worse that apps are what consumers want. So embrace it. And you want to you know, give the VCs to a certain extent what they want. Sure, there'll be a Reddit on desktop, of course. But you know what? Somebody comes out with a better Reddit on mobile, they could displace Reddit. So there's another thing here at work, which is if you build a desktop and you do hit critical mass, you've just left this huge, huge opening where you can just totally get knocked over by a mobile company. So you want to be defensive as well. You want to play defense. You want to play offense, and you want to play defense. If you don't have a mobile strategy, 
Somebody will come and they'll make a single function app that just kicks your ass and you don't ever want to get your ass kicked. And you, you know, a great company to look at here is Yelp. Yelp was a desktop app. They were search driven and then they made, they were, they were you know, desktop primarily. They were SEO driven and they built a world-class app. And it's fantastic. I still use the website once in a while, but you know, I'll sit at my desktop sometimes and when I need to do a Yelp search, I'm so fast at doing it on my phone that I'll just go to the app while sitting in front of a computer with a keyboard. That tells you something. All right, great questions. I'm really impressed. For more information about the Launch Mobile Wearables and IoT Conference, please visit launchmw.com. This is an event we're doing in partnership with our friends at Pivotal Labs, and it's occurring on October 15th and 16th this year, 2015, in San Francisco at Fort Mason. It's going to be an incredible event. We're going to discuss the fact that in 2005, almost nobody on the planet owned a smartphone, but, but today, 63% of Americans are using them for over three hours a day, which is a lot more than television even. And by 2020, 80% of adults around the globe will have a smartphone. Yes, smartphones, mobile, it's all changing the history of humanity. Where we're going as a species is being changed by mobile phones, wearables, and IoT, even more than the internet and PC revolutions themselves. And we're going to talk about this with the top 2,000 executives in the mobile wearables and IoT event at Launch Mobile Wearables and IoT. You can find out more information about the event taking place on October 15th and 16th here in San Francisco at launchmw.com.